Where have we been? Well, mostly in the same place as you likely are. Standing on uncertain ground, tiptoeing around craters and the seemingly relentless flood. Through storm after storm and wave after wave, I get to go to bed knowing the most important things to me are safe. My family, our health, and our home. That kind of certainty is increasingly rare these days, and I know I'm grateful for my fortune and privilege. But knowledge alone is a hollow thing. True wisdom is not in words, but deeds. Which is why each morning I take my dogs to the beach in order to fill my empty cup of knowledge with the true feeling of gratitude. We begin the day as shadows of ourselves, empty forms silhouetted against the sky in a place where you cannot speak your joy. You can only show it. Fortunately, I have the two best companions to do exactly that. It matters not whether blue skies or gray. Pounding paws beat a rapturous rhythm all the same. The thundering imposition of Ridgebacks, who refuse to leave so precious a thing as the present moment, any present moment, to chance or circumstance. Much like the weather, the choreography is not perfect. But I find the hapless pirouettes of my ballistic ballerinas all the more beautiful for it. And I endeavor to find even a fraction of their delight in my own shortcomings. Because I used to mistakenly believe that the throw, the catch, or even the ball somehow mattered. But I know now there is no true joy or gratitude in any of those things. Bliss is not a gift we receive from the world. It's a gift we give to it. A fuel meant to burn as a bright beacon in the darkness. And only once we have exhausted ourselves in that effort can we contentedly and truly feel gratitude. And in the act of giving our hearts freely, I always find myself restored. But each day, we rise and begin the work again. There's no end date and no finish line. But oh, there is such purpose. Purpose in the certainty that we should judge ourselves not by what we catch, but by what we are willing to chase after. So we continue to chase that feeling of gratitude. That feeling of joy. that exalted feeling of love. Never certain we'll catch them today, tomorrow, or the next. But never letting that stop us from trying. Some days it comes easy, and other days it feels like a futile exercise in patience. And pretty much every day, It comes at the cost of a few bumps and bruises. But I wouldn't trade any of those days for the world. Because the more time I spend in kinetic meditation with my dogs, the better I am. As a husband, father, and human. Who no matter what happens at home or in the world, can trust his dogs to help him rise to the occasion as the best version of himself. That's why it's always worth it. Worth the effort, worth the time, worth the setbacks and shortfalls, worth forgetting what we are owed and remembering all that we have to give. It's not enough to simply know these things. So I'm grateful my dogs ensure I feel that gratitude with my whole heart. Now, each morning, you never have to wonder where I am. And wherever you are, I hope you let your dog 
help you find your way here too.